Music is so much more important than you think, but most editors ignore it. They just slap a few songs underneath the edit and call the day. This can literally make the difference between a great performing video and a flop. If you start implementing the music editing tricks you're about to learn, your videos will be so much better. Number 1. Using the end of a song to end a chapter. Let me use my own video as an example. The blue part is the intro and the pink one is the first trick. Right before the first trick starts, I want the music of the intro to end. You can simply let the audio fade out, but that's a little boring. To make it more interesting, go to the end of the song and find the last beat. Then by using the razor tool, add a cut on that beat. Now you need to trim the song all the way to the intro and then snap the end against the first audio clip. This will give the viewer a feeling like they're moving on and will refresh their view. Some of these features are brand new and I want you to guess them in the comments below. Number 1. Filler Word Detection Premiere can... It will excite the viewer and that's exactly what you want. Now sometimes your song doesn't have an ending that fades out. In that case, I've got another trick for you. We're gonna use some reverb. So first find a hard harsh sound like a kick, snare or hit sound. Then add a cut right before it. Next hold down control on your keyboard and click on the volume fader to create two keyframes. Grab the second one and drag it all the way down so that the music ends harsh. Now this is where the reverb comes in. Find the convolution reverb in the effects library and drag it on your song in the timeline. Then head over to the effect controls and click on edit to open it up. Luckily in the preset list you will find a perfect one called bitter hallway. This will give the audio a smooth fade out. And in the comments below. Number 1. Filler Word Detection Premiere can automatically detect That sounds amazing. Now let's take a look at number 3. Music in Contrary Contrary music is for example pairing a happy and upbeat song with for example a scene of a funeral. This can create a funny or ironic effect. The intentional mismatch between the video and audio creates an element of surprise. You're literally playing with the audience's expectations, which will make the content more engaging. Oh, and another example, a car chase where you typically use high energy music. You can add some jazz music to completely turn around the atmosphere. When I'm in trouble and I have no friend, I know she'll go with me until the end. This will again make it humorous and ironic. Trick number 4. Make the viewer feel like they're at home. The best way to achieve this is to add recognizable elements into your videos. You can do that by using mainstream music that a lot of people already know. And yes, you can use famous songs like Attention from Charlie Puth without having to worry about copyright issues. The sponsor of today's video, Licked, can hook you up with a wide range of over a million mainstream tracks and over 100,000 stock tracks. There are more than enough tracks you can use for every situation. When you're using Using mainstream music, it helps you connect with your audience. And this will in turn lead to a better retention because people stick around longer. You make them feel like they're at home, remember? Now, because of Licked's huge catalog, us content creators and filmmakers can find the special tailored piece of music that we need. You can even use songs from Linkin Park, Nicki Minaj, Coldplay or Bruno Mars, just like the one you're hearing right now. And that while being protected from copyright strikes and not having to worry about demonetization. I can't stress this enough, music has a huge impact on your edits. So, if you want to start enhancing your content today with mainstream music, sign up now and you'll receive an incredible discount including 14 days of free stock music and a massive 50% of your first mainstream track. So, if you're curious about Licked and how it can change your content creation, check out the link in the description to redeem your discount. And now, back to Premiere. Number 5 making sure the music fits with the speech in your audio. To do that, we're gonna use an equalizer. Head over to the effects library and find the parametric equalizer. Then drag it on your music clip in the timeline. Go to the effects controls and here you'll find it. Now to open it up, click on edit. This can look a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually very easy. When you have sound playing in the timeline, you can actually read it off the EQ. On the bottom, you can see the frequencies. The higher this is, the louder the frequency is. On the left side, you'll find the lows. In the middle, you can see the mid frequency frequencies and on the right side you'll find the highs. Now inside the EQ you can see these points. They are called bands and you can move them around, drag them up or down or you can also adjust how wide or narrow the curve will be. But now why do we need this? With these controls we can actually boost or cut specific frequencies from the music to make the speech more audible. Now to do that enable the low pass band on the right. Now you can drag that band a little bit to the left side. This will cut off the high frequencies from the music which means you're making space for the 
speech to come through more easily. Great, but you can make it sound even better. The low frequencies from the music and your voice can easily clash with each other, which makes everything sound muddy. To fix that, you can cut away a part of the low frequencies of the song. This time, enable the high pass band. Then drag the band a little to the right side. But we can't animate them because you simply can't drag any effect. And there you go. That sounds amazing. Trick number six, making the music duck when a speaker is present. Here we can see two audio tracks. On the first one, you can see a clip with speech on it. On the bottom track, there's a song playing. Now, every time the speaker comes in, I want the music to duck. Premiere actually has a feature to do this automatically. First, select the speech clip in the timeline and go to the window menu on top. Find essential sound panel and once it's open, click on auto tag. Premiere will automatically detect your clip as speech. Now go back to the timeline and select the music clip. Then back in the essential sound panel, click on auto tag again. Now scroll all the way down to auto ducking. When you're there, make sure it's enabled. Then on the bottom, find the generate keyframes button and click it. Now, as you can see, these keyframes did appear on the music clip. The music will now be quieter when the speaker is speaking. If you want to adjust the ducking settings, you can do that as well with the sliders in essential sound. Isn't that great? Trick number seven. Premiere can automatically synchronize shots of your music video with the beats of your song. This can actually be done very easily and you can learn everything about it in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.